Hi guys, me Diecast Brit right in this another video, and today we're we'll doing the unboxing for the Ottawa Liberty Walk Lamborghini Aventador Club. So let's dive straight to this unboxing video right now. Alright then, before I show you guys the model itself, let me just show you guys the outside box itself. So outside the box itself, we got typical Ottawa fashion, we got your typical Ottawa uh, wording right in the middle right here. We got your blue to black fading gradient. And like what, if you guys saw my unbox unboxing video on Monday or you're just a viewer, just tune in to watching this unboxing video right here. Uh, basically, the version 2 Liberty Walk Aventor Club that Ottawa did this time around has the big LB work wording right here. So this is this guys like, this is the version two if I'm not wrong version one have it as well but I could be wrong but th basically this is the same thing that you saw guys that you saw on the red and gold Liberty Walk Aventador that I unboxed on Monday. So yeah let me just skip through this uh part quite quickly so basically this auto fading on the other side of the box itself so same thing as well and you got more of this uh, LB wording branding right side of the box flag right here. And the wording is also the same thing as the red and gold LB Aventador. Uh, so maybe this is not... You can't really dif differentiate what the be difference between this and the one that I unboxed last week other than the wording that's right here. So basically this... Basically mine is a Martini Libre Aventador compared to the red and gold which I unboxed. On Monday, so yeah, this is the QR code scan to get this model itself. You're not wrong. This is the model number, and this is the barcode itself. And this is tell you guys, this is a 180 scale model itself. Other than that, uh, same thing on the other side as well. So, LB work, Lamborghini Aventador limitation, auto art itself. And at the bottom, you got your regulatory information like this is an official Lamborghini product itself, and also official Liberty Walk product itself. Do not expose this model to dark sunlight, it might damage the model itself and it's re recommended age for 14 and up or adult collectors as well. Without further ado, let me just unbox this model for you guys right now. Alright guys, so many to remove the model from the box itself. Uh, yeah, without further ado, here is guys, my Martini Liberty Walk Lamborghini Aventador Coupe. So yeah, here is guys. Voila, so yeah, this is basically, I would say this is if you can call it this is fun. Okay, so I seem to be missing a screw, but let me just explain to you guys with the base still on. But basically, if I'm not wrong, this is the first, I would call it the first batch of version 2 Liberty Walk Aventador Coupe that Auto has done. If you guys saw the news already, or I think you, if you guys do already saw the news, Auto has planned to release. Uh, more of this version 2 Liberty Walk Aventador in more of the other libraries itself. So I think this is not a bad choice by Otto because some people uh don't really like the, maybe the current design from the first from the first batch. So that's why Otto decided to do more itself. But to me I really love the Martini Aventador cross. One there's two good things that I really like about this model itself. One, it got uh two different type of range on either side. So when they, you're looking at it right now will be on the passenger side, if I'm not wrong, you got these red gloss rims right here, which is very, very nice. And on the driver's side, you got the matte black rims, which is also quite nice touch. So many like a uh, different split, I'll call it split theme uh, look on the rim itself. Secondly, I really love that this, I love this Liberty Walk Aventador cross of the Imperial itself. Interior wise is very interesting because you got your red and white look itself and yeah um, That's one thing that you don't really get from the previous Aventador itself and if I'm not wrong that the red and gold also doesn't really have it as well. So yeah Other than that, uh, that's all I say for this video itself. If you guys saw my uh, last video I mentioned that I'll be doing a side-to-side -side comparison between the first generation and the second generation or the first the first gen and second gen body kit of the Aventador. So yeah, do keep look out for that side to side comparison video plus also the review video of this model itself. With that, uh, other than that, that's all to say for this video itself. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Diecast Break, and my Instagram should pop right about here. And to see more models from my collection, you can follow me on DB Collection on Instagram 
and it should be popping right about here and last but not least, click the subscribe button down right below. See more videos like this, I'll click the subscribe and click to see my two other videos. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.